Hi, in this video, we are going to see an introduction to integration. What is integration? So to make it very simple, integration helps systems or softwares or applications communicate with each other. Different applications can talk to each other with the concept of integration. Integration helps to share the data among different applications. For communications, generally APIs are used to do the communication or sharing the information. So why we need to communicate with each other? Sometimes if you look at the applications, the data might be spread across different stakeholders. Let's say for example, if you take a banking sector let's say you are trying to purchase something in amazon at the end of the day you will trying to do the checkout while doing the checkout you are entering your debit card or credit card information for payment the debit card or credit card information definitely not going to be managed by amazon right so these information will be generally managed by your issuer bank right the the data is spread across different system. Amazon is a different system and your bank is a different system, right? These systems needs to communicate. Then only we can make sure that yes, the entire data are correct and we can allow the user to completely, you know, check out, right? Or complete his, uh, you know, purchasing in Amazon. So this is a simple example why we need to communicate with the different systems. So the integration at the end of the day helps you to do a seamless or effortless, uh, you know, communication, right? Or functionality. For example, you're trying to do a purchase in Amazon. At the end of the day, it is a seamless or uh, it's an effortless, uh, you know, way we are finishing the checkout process. But in the back end, different systems are communicating with each other to complete the process. So this is the power of integration. So let me share you some of the very simple uh, integrations which is being used by the software. So let's say, for example, John wanted to, uh, you know, renew or purchase his uh, insurance for his vehicle. He planned to use Policy Bazaar. It is one of the very famous website, right? He planned to use Policy Bazaar uh, website to get the quote. Let's see how integration helps John to process this code. I'm not going to show you the entire end to end, uh, you know, code processing system. Just I'm going to show you how policy bus are able to gather your vehicle information. Let me quickly switch to the browser. And uh, this is the policy bazaar website. And in this website, I'm going to enter my vehicle registration number, I need to enter the vehicle registration number, I'm going to give my vehicle registration number. So once I click view price, so once this uh, data is correct, it will try to fetch the vehicle information. So let me try to click view price. And uh, let's see. It's taking a little bit time. Let me refresh again. And let's see, it's working fine or not. Okay, I have entered the vehicle information. If I click view price, it will ask me to enter more information, right? That's the code generation process. But look at, at the top of this uh, screen. See here, automatically Policy Bazaar is fetching my vehicle information. It is giving me my vehicle name. My vehicle is Tata Tiago. It's a petrol vehicle. Policy Bazaar is able to fetch this information just simply using the Registration number. I have given the registration number, but policy buzz are able to get my vehicle name and model. How it's possible? Integration. The answer is integration. I'm not going to do the complete code generation process. This is a simple example for how integration really helps policy bazaar to fetch the vehicle information. So let's quickly deep dive into the system to see how it was uh, working behind the scene. Let me qu quickly switch to the presentation. Let me go back to the presentation. So if I entered my vehicle information, automatically Policy Bazaar fetches my vehicle, uh, you know, uh, model and uh, make with the help of simple registration number, how it's possible. So the integration is the answer.
right let's see at a high level how things are happening here let's imagine this is john john entering his vehicle information in the policy bazaar website policy bazaar website doesn't have any details about your vehicle so what it does through integration it is making a communication it is making a call or it is communicating with a platform digital platform called parivahan seva parivahan seva is a you know indian government online digital platform which is uh, managed by road and transport uh, you know organization right it's a it's a uh, government uh, organization so all the vehicles information in india are managed in the parivahan seva database so once we entered the vehicle registration number in the policy bazaar website policy bazaar web- website sends that information to parivahan seva through integration parivahan seva checks its database for the registration number entered once it finds the vehicle information it is sending the response back to policy bazaar within a fraction of second we are seeing the vehicle information in the user interface it gives us a feel that the information is coming from policy bazaar website but in real case is it coming from policy bazaar website do you think that policy bazaar website is managing your vehicle details no it's simply fetching the data from parivahan seva digital platform so these two systems two softwares one is policy bazaar and another one is parivahan seva these two platforms these two applications communicate with each other with the help of integration so integration helps to fetch the information which is spread across different platforms this is one good real time example let's take an another scenario john is running his business he is collecting his customers card information for processing the uh, you know products he sold so basically he wanted to know the issuer of the bank for his customers he planned to use a website called bin code to get the banking information for his customers credit card or debit card whatever it may be the customer is just going to give the card number that's it using this card number with the help of bin code website john able to fetch the issuer of the bank and all the information right so he can cross check that the shared card information is correct or not right let's quickly jump to that particular site and let me go to the browser and this is the site called bin code which will help you to validate the card information i'm going to give you a card information this card is going to be a debit card it can be a debit card also i'm giving the card information and then i'm going to select i'm a human so definitely it will ask me to choose uh, click the image as most related to the object in the sample image so it's basically a captcha right it is basically a captcha which is uh, um, making sure that it is a uh, human right so let me click validate and once it is validated see here all my informations are being fetched so i have shared my a debit card information once i have given the debit card information it is giving me automatically the account number and which bank i am holding my uh, you know my account right it is associated with standard chartered bank and the credit card brand it's from visa and the card type and card level all these informations and the website of the bank which issued right so all these informations i am able to see in the bin code website itself so what the user has entered the user has entered simply a debit card number that's it i am able to see all my you know bank information here all right so how it is possible the answer is integration let me quickly go to the presentation and let's discuss a little bit deep on how it is really working let's say john enters his customer card number in the bin code website the bin code website doesn't store any information about the customer credit card or debit card right so instead how it is able to bring the information through integration it is collecting the card information from john and it is sending the information to a payment gateway the payment gateway is generally called as payment processor so through integration bin code is connecting with payment processor site the payment processor which is a payment gateway sends that information 
to the respective card brand since my card brand was visa the payment gateway through integration again communicating with one more system that is the visa card brand platform and the card brand knows that which is my bank and which is my account number associated with that card so it is sending those informations as a response back to my payment processor which is my payment gateway and through payment gateway that information is sent back as a response to bin code bin code simply displayed those information in the user interface user interface right so bin code doesn't have any data the data is spread across different applications right so bin code is fetching this information by communicating with two different platforms one is the payment gateway and then the card brand website or card brand service right so integration is happening in two places bin code through integration sending those information to payment processor or payment gateway payment processor identifying the respective card brand and it is sending this information to the respective card brand and the brand sends the bank information back and the information is sent back to the bin code and the customer or this you know john able to see his customer uh, cards associated bank information in this particular website so this is a very simple example for how in real time you know still the systems are exist Uh, which is communicating the data across a different softwares which is uh, uh, you know happening with the help of apis hope this video might have given you some clarity on what is integration how in real time systems are communicating each other with the help of two examples if you want to send any feedbacks please scan this qr code or click the link below and you can leave your feedbacks if you are interested to learn salesforce visit aj skill development website there you can find our course curriculum and you can come to know about the list of courses we are offer we are offering salesforce administrator and salesforce development courses to know about us and the team you can visit our about us section this is an organization we are doing salesforce training from 2018 and we have trained out and guided 2000 plus candidates so far and if you also want to know about our placement assistance visit our placement assistance section where you can find the list of people and the category you can see the list of people who got uh, trained and placed from our site you can also visit their linkedin pages to get to know about our training and also the feedback from the relevant trainees okay and also if you want to do the course inquiry click on contact us you will see the form you can fill the form and submit the inquiry our team will get back to us thank you